much for joining us here on Idaho Today. Coming out soon is the latest issue of the Boise Weekly. So we're joined right now by Jean Huff to give us the inside scoop on what you can expect. Jean, we are the same color combo today. I love we, it. We do this. We do this a lot. I don't know how this happens. <laughs> we do. Great minds think alike, my friend. You look fantastic. Love the glasses as well. Um, but you. tell us what's coming up in uh, this week's edition of the Boise Weekly. Well, our cover story is all about the uh, Hummel architects that they recently um, bequeathed uh, all of their archive to the Idaho State Archive. And so wow. it's right now there's a big exhibition that features blueprints. I mean, this is um, an archive uh, over that spans 128 years. And it is amazing. Um, I went to it the opening night and you can pour over all of these old plans that were hand drawn and um, I mean, it's absolutely fabulous to think how people used to um, put together those architectural plans and they're beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think we're looking at uh, just a wonderful picture right there of the of the Capitol and it is it looks beautiful. That should be very intriguing. Uh, in addition to that, though, two Mother's Day is coming up this weekend and you guys have a really great Mother's Day story. Tell us about that. We do. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a Mother's Day story, but it's mostly a story about this um, initiative. Uh, uh, this young man who has a lot of initiative, and he reached out to the Boise Weekly. He had done a big paper on electric vehicles, pros and cons, and um, he had done this paper. Um, his mother was his teacher at Answer Charter School, so that's the mother, and and that's the Mother's Day component. And um, he reached out and said, "I would like for us to partner on this so that I can get it published, so people will know more about whether they should get an electric vehicle or not." Oh wow! No kidding. That's fantastic. I it's love a great, that. Yeah, it's a great story. He was a great kid. He, you know. Um, Wow, he's a seventh grader. <laughs> Seriously, bright future for that young man. Yes. Super cool. Okay, and then, uh, you know, we always love to see what you guys have to say about Good Eats around town. I understand that there's a compare and contrast between schnitzel, which my mom's a huge fan of schnitzel, so I can't wait to see what comes out of this. Yes, uh, Amos Rothstein, um, one of our food writers, did a story comparing and contrasting Schnitzel Garden and um, Das Alpen House. Oh, yeah. Um, it looked, I mean, it looks the fantastic. Food there in both places is amazing. So, and uh, to be very honest, I've never heard of either one of those locations. So, it's great to know mm -hmm. that there's uh, some great German eats here. Absolutely. Yes. Anything that fills the belly and also feeds the soul, right? That's right. Okay. Uh, also tell us too about um, uh, what George Prentice is up to because he recently screened something, right? Yes. And he is um, very much about the um, new documentary that is about Gene um, Wilder. Oh, yes. And it comes out, comes out Friday at the Flicks. And he says that it is a must see. Ooh, I love Gene Wilder. Growing up with the original version of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, mm -hmm. uh, Pure Imagination, Young Frankenstein, uh, just seeing so many great films that he was in. Uh, such a Blazing, classic performer. Blazing Saddles. Oh, yes, Blazing Saddles. How can I forget that one? Photo right there at the very bottom. Okay, that is definitely a must-see. I will be putting that on my calendar of to-dos as well. Uh, and hey, great to see you this past weekend as well at the Idaho Press Club Awards. Congratulations to the Boise Weekly. Thank you. Yeah, we took home uh, the best, uh, the top prize uh, in general excellence. And you guys did pretty good yourselves. Yes, yes. KTVB also won uh, general excellence in addition to a number of awards, swept a bunch mm -hmm. of... Uh, of, of uh, categories. I know today won the first place. We're super excited about that as well. So yes, congratulations all around to everybody. Yes. It, was a, it was a great ceremony this past weekend. It was, Jean, it was a lot of fun. Where can people find a copy of the Boise Weekly? 
Well, it is out on newsstands throughout the Treasure Valley, always at Albertsons, uh, most of the Jacksons, and at the Flicks and Flying M and a bunch of other places. So uh, we're out on newsstands on Thursdays. Wonderful. Jean, thank you so much. And everyone stick around. More to come right here on Idaho Today right after the break. Now